Hey Swing Trading family, this is Super Swing Trader. I hope you are doing well. Today we're going to take a look at some charts and see where we can identify supply and demand zones and trade it for income. Before I do, if you're new to this channel, here I talk about swing trading using the rules of supply and demand and technical analysis to trade with the big banks, hedge fund managers, and professional traders, and not against them. If that's something you're interested in, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. Also, drop a comment below. Let me know have you guys placed any trades and have you made any money with swing trading using supply and demand yet? Comment below yes if you have and no if you haven't. I really appreciate your comments because it helps me tailor my content to best serve you. Apart from that, let's get right to evaluating the charts. Okay, today we're going to look at the New Zealand dollar versus the US dollar. On the left hand corner here, every candle is one day. On the bottom right hand corner here, every candle is one week. And on the upper right hand corner here, every candle is one month. We want to trade these longer time frames because these are where the big banks are buying and selling. They're trading upper upper higher time frames. They're not trading the lower time frames like the 1 minute, 15 minute, 5 minute, 1 hour candles just because those are where the high frequency traders are. That's not where the big banks and institutions are buying. They're buying long term. They're slowly building building their positions over many weeks, months, even years. All right, let's take a look at the monthly here first. Let's do a top-down analysis. We see that back in 2014, there's a big drop and then a base drop base. And then finally, price finally increased again uh, from 2015 all the way to 2017 here. So we see that it created a demand zone here not very strong but it is a demand zone and price held here price held here and then it rallied but then it also increased it also created a demand zone right here too and that's our price price retrace to it rally drop retrace to it rally drop replace retraces to it rally drop and then finally broke it and then and then it the bottom the lower time frame here got control and then price rallied again so on the way down it created the supply zone here and it also created a supply zone right here So price is currently at this demand zone. It is tested for the second time. So we can see that when it hit this demand zone, it went up and then slowly broke it. So this, so we are expecting it to do the same thing here just because when it hit the demand zone, it didn't have enough power to go up again. So we are expecting this demand zone to be to retrace and then break down too. And then let's take a look at the weekly chart. So the weekly chart we kind of see the same thing where it drop, rally for a little bit, drop, base, drop, base, drop. So there's a demand zone created down here at the low. And there's a supply zone created up here. Okay, so there's a supply zone here. And price just ranged to here and then it dropped down to this demand zone where it rallied up again. It's rallying. But as you can see, this is this area right here is this. So we can see that there's supply zone here. So the supply zone is supply zone is 
supply zone is up here so if price goes up here we don't want to buy anymore because the supply zone is right here on the daily it dropped base drop base drop so it's high it's been dropping for a very long time and this is what we call over over extension so if we draw the trend line trend line was broken right here and then it rallied and there's a demand zone right here so as we can see price okay okay so price created demand zone it rallied for a little bit and then it dropped and then it rallied so this is what we want to see this is what we're looking for for the live trades you want to see the demand zone created here and then price drop and then rally. We want to buy these these pullbacks. When it pulls back to the demand zone, it rallies. So if price, so it created this, this demand right here. So if price retraces to this area, we can think about going long again. A very good opportunity so keep this stock keep this forex pair on your watch list because the price retraces down here again this is a lot of power a lot of the institutional buyers are buying here so these are there's quite a bit of unfilled orders here so if price retraces down here we want to buy Thank you very much for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, please click the subscribe button and also click that little bell icon. Then that way you'll get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching.